HighTimeToAwake.com presents High Time to Awake. Bible Prophecy with Craig C. White. Today's study is titled Magog Made Easy. There is a multi-nation invasion of Israel coming. It could occur during the tribulation period, or it could happen now. Some teach that this invasion is led by Russia. I think the Bible teaches that this invasion is led by Turkey. With the introduction of Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan, I believe that this invasion could happen soon. Ezekiel 38 calls this invasion the Battle of Gog and Magog. Magog is a man who is mentioned in the genealogies of Genesis chapter 10. Magog is a descendant of Noah's son Japheth. After the flood, Magog settled in the land that we know today as Turkey. Many Bible teachers today say that Magog in Ezekiel 38 refers to Russia. That view came about by transcribing the English word chief or the Hebrew rosh to mean Russia. Transposing Hebrew words into English phonetic equivalents is not a technique that is used elsewhere in Bible interpretation. The Hebrew word rosh means first or primary. Magog was the chief or most prominent settler in Asia Minor, or what we call today Turkey. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 1 says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn thee back, and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company, with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togarma of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. You have probably heard some unfamiliar names in this passage, but you have also heard some very familiar names, such as Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, which are today's Iran, Ethiopia, which would include Sudan, and Libya. We have just identified half of these nations. The unfamiliar nations are listed in the genealogies in Genesis chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togarma. Magog, Meshech, Tubal, and Gomer are brothers. Togarma is Gomer's son. They are among the first families to resettle the world after Noah's flood. They settled together in the land of Asia Minor, or today what we call Turkey. Magog was the most prominent settler amongst his brothers. When Ezekiel 38 uses the term Gog, it can refer to the man Magog or the land that he settled. These nations are going to invade Israel. We can read that in Ezekiel chapter 38 verses 8 and 16. Turkey, or the prominent leader of Turkey, is going to lead this invasion. Today, Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan has set his sights on making war with Israel. Turkey will be joined by Iran, Ethiopia, which includes Sudan, and Libya. Remember, Gomer and Togarma are among the families who live in Turkey. They live in the land of Gog along with Magog. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 13. Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish with all the young lions thereof shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Sheba and Dedan are brothers descended from Noah through Ham's son, 
Cush, they settled the area of the Persian Gulf, Sheba and Dedan specifically refer to the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. I think that the merchants of Tarshish are located on the southeastern Mediterranean coast of Turkey. I know people have different ideas about this, but I think Sheba, Dedan, and Tarshish are pre-battle staging areas for the armies about to invade Israel. So the armies would be gathered in northern Saudi Arabia, just south of Israel, and in coastal Turkey, nearest to the nation of Israel. This is my observation. At any rate, the armies will be gathered in these places, and the local people will be asking, have you gathered to take a spoil? These invading armies will not fare well. God himself will fight against them. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 19 says, For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground and i will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains saith the lord god every man's sword shall be against his brother and i will plead against him with pestilence and with blood and i will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him an overflowing rain and great hailstones fire and brimstone god causes every man's sword to be against his brother in other words the invading armies will be fighting one another god also uses the forces of nature against these armies such as an enormous earthquake pestilence and blood and very severe rain and great hailstones and fire and brimstone god will send a sword throughout all his mountains god's mountains in israel typically refer to judea and samaria so that's the land around jerusalem and north of jerusalem this battle may happen during the great tribulation or it may happen sooner i think ezekiel 38 could possibly refer to a battle previous to the tribulation and also portions of ezekiel 38 may apply to the tribulation period i think that the battle of gog and magog is separate from the battle of armageddon which occurs at the end of the tribulation period i also think that the battle of gog and magog happens before the battle of armageddon gog and magog is also mentioned in revelation chapter 20 verses 7 through 10 i believe that revelation is talking about a battle that happens at the end of jesus christ's millennial reign or one thousand year reign on earth and it is a battle similar to the first battle of gog and magog in that many nations come against israel to destroy it today turkish prime minister erdogan fits the profile of magog in ezekiel chapter 38 he's a primary Turkish leader who has the inclination to make war with Israel. So as alert Christians, we should be watching Turkey and its prime minister. Please read my commentary titled Magog Made Easy at HighTimeToAwake.com. To read my full commentary, go to hightimetoawake.com. You may also contact me through the website, as well as check out my new book. Thanks. Hello, this is Craig C. White. Please check out my website at hightimetoawake.com. And while you're there, check out my new book, High Time to Awake, Seven Misinterpreted Bible Prophecies. It contains several commentaries about prophecies that are about to happen in the world today including Magog Made Easy, which is about an invasion of Israel led by Turkey, and also in chapter 1, the fall and rise of the Antichrist, which tells us that the revelation of the Antichrist on earth is the sign of the rapture. These are important issues for Christians to understand today, so please check out the book at hightimetoawake.com.
and I will see you next time. Thanks.